Your music often reflects your indigenous heritage. How does your cultural background influence your songwriting and your performances? So it's it changes for each song, I guess you could say, but definitely for my performances, um, mostly my style. So um, I try to like put in traditional pieces, like I'll support local artisans with like the beating and like, I was on a TV show um, and I had like my finale dress kind of like be a ribbon skirt, but kind of like my own style as well. Um, and then with my writing, I just, I write about my experiences and what I've been through. Um, so, you know, I did one called We're Not Lost, Moya Coasinho, and that was about just like, I felt like I wasn't doing enough and that like, you know, I feel like as a Cree woman, there's a lot of like, I don't, racism, I guess. And like, you know, a lot of like misconceptions of my community, our community. And um, I wanted to show like how beautiful we are. And like, we're just people. Like, I don't like to say I'm like a spokesperson. Like I'm just me, just this guy. And I try to live authentically. So whatever I write about, whatever I choose to share with like social media platforms, it's just my own experience. I'm not here representing all people. Like I just, I don't like to put myself in a box like that, but um my culture, like, I guess I could say the intergenerational trauma. Um, obviously I'm affected by that. So like my experiences and my upbringing and what I've gone through, um, I write about just so I can kind of get through those things. What song do you think has resonated with many listeners? Can you share the story behind that song and its significance to you? Oh man, I feel like the one that points out to me um, the most um oh gosh there's a lot but one that sticks out to me that's like really helped people um i'll have two um the first one was on my own so that was the first song i ever released um it was in 2021 cbc searchlight and it got top 100 and it was on that contest before it was released um on any platforms and i had a lot of women a lot of men a lot of um indigenous people reach out to me and say like they kind of felt heard and that their story was being told through that song and i wrote that song um about addiction and also kind of like feeling so alone and still battling addiction at the time it was like i can't do this on my own but i'm also like i don't know what to do and i had my um cousin she fancy shell danced in it and i got to show a lot of like my culture in that video so i think it really helped people relate and see like themselves on a bigger capacity on a bigger screen and then my second one would be never be replaced I wrote that song about losing my daughter and about pregnancy loss um and that song was very very healing for me it was like the hardest one of the hardest things I've ever gone through but um knowing that like there was other women that have also lost um their child that way it's super meaningful to know okay like i'm not the only one going through these tragic things and um i truly believe like i i sing and i write and i do it to connect to others obviously it's my lifeline but if i can help someone in the process that's like truly my mission is to kind of let people feel heard and seen like the ones that can't do it themselves um so yeah i feel like all a lot of my songs have connected i've kind of been through everything under the sun so i like it's kind of weird for me um when like it never gets old hearing like someone send me a dm being like oh my gosh this song really touched me i'm like oh my gosh you just touched me by saying that mm -hmm. um and it makes me feel validated it's like a really good feeling so that's awesome <laughs> it must feel amazing to like connect with your audience it yeah it definitely feels really good i'm sure you can relate like you have an amazing instagram i love everything that you're doing i think it's super inspiring i don't know how old you are or whatever but it doesn't really matter it's just like it's beautiful to see a fellow woman like who's young like chasing their dreams and doing things like that because it's not easy to put yourself out there for one um it's really like i just get goosebumps because it's like there's space for everybody and I think people have this misconception that there's not enough space um, for people to be successful. And that's just like, so not true. It's like, we're all different. And if we channel ourselves that way, like if no one else can be me, if I'm authentic to myself. So it's just, it's a really good feeling to like, I love helping others in the community. Like I'm helping this um, up and coming artist right now. She, she has no songs out and like, she's so young and 
just seeing her, I was like, oh my gosh, she can learn from all my mistakes. Like she won't have to make the same things as me. And I just want to like protect her because she's so talented and it's like, we all can help each other and still become successful on our own. So thank you so much for sharing that. It truly means a lot. Thank you. You're so cute. (laughs) Um, Okay. This next one says, what's the most embarrassing moment you've ever had during a live performance? (laughs) I have so many, but one that sticks out to me. And it's funny because I don't find it embarrassing. Like, I mean, me two, three years ago, probably I would have found it very embarrassing because I was so insecure and like, just so like, always needed people's like validation in the worst way. But um, I did a show for my friend Curtis for TP Treats and it's like a fundraising event for um, the vulnerable like population. And uh, it's, (laughs) I was singing and I didn't have my band with me. So I just had, like it connected to the Bluetooth speakers and literally like six times during that set, it completely just stopped. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, and I kind of didn't really care, but I was like, okay, everyone on the count of three, we're gonna go three, two, one creator, turn the sound back on. And I was like, three, two, one. And literally the sound turned back on. And I was like, oh my gosh, ancestors are helping me. <laughs> but um yeah like i mean that was kind of embarrassing like because it's just i it happened so often during that set i was like should i just stop at this point because one time whatever but it happened like six seven times um like technical errors you can't really do anything about it it's no one's fault but i was like uh this is awkward like just kind of you have to make a joke out of it like you just gotta like carry on be creative (laughs) yeah I was like, that was planned, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, if you could form a super group with any musicians, living or dead, who would be in it and what would you call it? Oh my gosh. Well, my favorite, favorite, favorite artists ever, right now anyways um well russ russ is my dream collab i think russ is incredible like not only in his musical and lyrical like abilities but he built everything from the ground up he's self-made like he's not with a label um and i love everything he stands for i just i'm obsessed with russ russ for sure jesse murph I don't know if you know who Jessie Murph is, but she is like on the rise. She's only like 19 years old or 18. And everything she writes about is so deep. And I really connect to her stories through her music. Like she's been through a lot of stuff. Like, and I can definitely relate to that. Um, Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson. May he rest in peace. I think he's beautiful. I thought I, I'm still sad for such a beautiful soul that got so much hate. And like, you know, I just, I'd always like I'm not the opinion of someone that doesn't know me and I think when you're in the limelight and I'm not saying I'm like Michael Jackson that's not what I'm saying but it's like we we share so much of our life publicly that people really believe that they know us right and at the end of the day people show what they want to show and like I show it all on my platforms but I also know like who I am so I don't let like hate comments get to me but it just reminds me of like what Michael Jackson went through it's just like it breaks my heart so much um but yeah I love Taylor Swift I I always say that in interviews like she got me through high school I was really really like bullied she got me through a lot of stuff um Demi Lovato like I'm so like pop girl era Ariana Grande (laughs) there's so many I don't know what I would call it though Oh my gosh, probably. I always say like, I'm unhinged. I'd probably be like the unhinged, like girlies or something, I don't know. I never really thought about that. I'm, I'm bad with names. <laughs> okay, okay, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Um, if you weren't a musician, what do you think you'd be doing right now? Ooh. I am also a social worker, so I don't work in the field much anymore. Luckily, like um, music has sustained me and I I make more with music than I would in that field. But um, I used to work in corrections, which is so weird. No one knows that about me. Um, And then I work with children at risk youth from the ages of eight to 16. And actually like some of these paintings back here, like I keep all their paintings they've ever made for me. Um, Yeah, they are 
like the light of my life. These little kids have been through so much and they just have the most forgiving and resilient souls. And um, that's definitely like my other passion. Um, you know, I, I don't show up there a lot just due to my schedule, but the ones that have moved on from where I worked, I keep in contact with them. I have an open DM policy. So, you know, if they're in trouble or anything, like they know that like I just love them unconditionally and like they they can get through anything and I'm, I'm there for them as much as I can be. But um, definitely something I still do, can't do as much of, but if I was not singing, I would for sure be doing like child and youth advocacy um, in some, to some degree. That's so nice. <laughs> um, do you have any hidden talents or any dream jobs? Oh, hidden talents. <gasps> um hidden talents i feel like oh i guess i don't know if doing the splits is a hidden talent but i used to dance when i was younger and i was like extremely flexible i can still do the splits um i can do something really weird with my nose but i'm not gonna do it but like i can like suck my nose in like me and my partner always joke about it we're like that's so that's like my party trick like you know um and my dream job i feel like i'm living my dream do you say dream job yeah dream job i'm definitely definitely living it already i mean i'm not where i want to be but i like if you would have asked me two years ago if like this was my life i wouldn't have believed you um so i definitely yeah, it's crazy that's awesome to hear <laughs> yes you too this is my last question if i could pray for you what would you like me to pray for Oh my gosh, oh me. I love that question. That's like something I've never heard before. And I really appreciate that. That's beautiful. Um, right now, you know, I, I don't ever pray for myself. I always pray for others. I just think if I pray for something about me, it's just for strength or for something like that. But um, I would actually ask to get prayer for reassurance on um, decisions and just like prayer for that confirmation that I am doing exactly what I need to do and for prayer of just protection and guidance on this next part of my my journey because I'm making some big changes so um, it's scary but I know that I know that one day at a time it, it always ends up working out how it's supposed to so guidance protection yeah. right. love yeah thank you so much what can I pray for you for I got, it. I got it to return the favor. Oh, that means so much. Um, I don't know. I know I'm going to be really busy this summer, so make sure I'm on time to every yeah. everything <laughs> I need to be at. That would be nice. Yes, make sure to rest and take care of yourself, right? Like, self-care is huge. Like, don't overdo it. I, I do the same thing and then I burn out. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, you have to take care of yourself first. Never, ever, 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 ever forget that because you need to come first so you can help others. Yes, works. for sure. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It was so nice meeting you and I hope to catch up on your journey and what you're doing in the next coming months and i can't wait to watch you do all your things so thank you for having me appreciate it thank you so much have a wonderful day you too bye honey bye